So I was in my Discord server, right? And don't mind the fan spinning in the background. If it's spinning super fast and you hear it, whatever, it's fine. I usually turn it off when I record my videos, but I'm gonna leave it on for this video because I really don't care. But anyway, I was I was on my Discord server, right? And someone told me Team Wolf News made a new video. And I was like, okay, I don't really care. I don't follow the I don't follow dude. I don't care for his content. So they were and, and the reason why I went and watched this new video because they was like, okay, it's, De it's Jeff Davis explaining something. So I was like, okay, if it's Jeff Davis explaining something, it's probably something for the movie that's brand new, right? So I went to go check it out. It's like a minute and 39 second video. Quick, real quick to get through. This was by far possibly the worst video I have ever seen Teen Wolf News post. And this is the worst video Jeff Davis has ever participated in. This video literally destroyed any credibility Jeff Davis had. Like I freaking told y'all last year, I told y'all, stop relying on Jeff Davis for credibility when it comes to Team Wolf. He doesn't know what, bro, this man changes things so often. He literally is the Akira Toriyama of like supernatural TV shows. He doesn't give a shit about his canon. And he literally says that in this clip. In this clip, I'll leave the link to it in the description below if you guys don't believe what I'm saying. But go watch the clip. The dude literally says, the canon does not matter as long as I'm able to tell a good story. That is bad. That's bad. That's horrible. And we know Jeff Davis doesn't give a shit about canon because in season five, he fucked up the whole canon. In season six, he made it even worse. Which is why a lot of people don't don't really care for Team Wolf season five or six. Perfect example, Garrett Douglas. At first, De Jeff, before season six even premiered, was like, all right, Douglas is going to be an alpha werewolf, right? We all knew this going into Team Wolf season six, like six years ago or some shit like that. I was under the impression he was going to be a werewolf. No, there were no mentions of this dude being a lone mensch at all until we got to like the premiere of Blitzkrieg when they explained what the hell Douglas was. That's when we all found out he was a lone mensch. Yet in the same episode, this dude is still referring to himself as a werewolf, bro. It makes zero sense at all whatsoever. And then when you watch the interview that Team Wolf News had with Jeff Davis last year talking about, or was it, la was it last year or two years ago? It was 2020 or 2021. It was when he came back from his hiatus to, you know, be, become a Teen Wolf grifter pretty much. But anyway, in the video, Jeff was like, I didn't even come up with the idea for the low image. It was Will and Eric Wallace who now write for the CW Flash. I'm like, so I'm like, no wonder the cannon's broken. There's no continuity between like who or how, how do I put this? There's no freak. Not everybody's on the same page. I'll say that. That's what I'll say. Not everybody's on the same page because you have one writer in Jeff Davis who wants to write a bunch of other stuff. Then you have Will and Eric Wallace introducing new ideas, putting that into the thing. And Jeff even said, I was like, all right. He'd be like, all right, go for it. Then I don't even I mean, I don't know what the hell that is, but go for it. He didn't even bother to do his research, nor did he care. Bro, I'm telling you right now, this is a bad look for Jeff Davis, and it's especially a bad look for Teen Wolf News. I don't know why he decided to post that, but that was the dumbest thing he could have possibly done for himself, because it, it takes away all credibility from him. Like, his credibility is shot. I don't care... If people are like, oh my God, he knows what he's talking about when he comes to dissecting Team Wolf. No, he does not. He never has, except for like maybe one or two things in the past. But other than that, no, the dude is not credible. Like I've been trying to tell you all that. Stop. Just because he has more subs does not mean the dude's more credible. Stop. Stop, bro. Like, oh my God, that, 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 was, that was horrible. We were talking to my Discord. I'm like, bro. This dude literally posted a video of the creator of Teen Wolf literally saying, oh yeah, I don't care about the canon as long as it fits my narrative and, and fits the story I'm trying to tell. Then what is the point of us caring about the lore, bro? The lore literally doesn't matter. Werewolves don't matter anymore. How that, how that power system works. 
betas, omegas, alphas don't matter because you constantly change the canon all the time to where nothing's consistent. That's bad. That's not good. There's no way you can defend that. That's th this. This is why I'm making my own series in True Alpha. Why? Because one, I know it's going to surpass Teen Wolf. I've had people tell me who have read the first three chapters, it's way better than Teen Wolf already. Like, by by a mile, it's not even close. It's way better than Teen Wolf. Has a way better setup. Has way better characters. Has way better world building. Has a way better power system in terms of the werewolf. Has way better werewolf designs. And it's going to completely shatter Teen Wolf one day. Without question. This is, it's inevitable. Like Thanos, I am inevitable. It's inevitable, bro. It's going to pass Teen Wolf. This is why... People like me, Eric July, Young Ripper 59 start he started the Ripperverse. I'm starting my own series, True Alpha. This is why we're doing this. Because these freaking creatives don't know what the hell they're doing. And this was my biggest concern last year. I made a video on this and I got a bunch of shit for making a video on it, but it needed to be said because I told y'all last November, I said Jeff Davis has a problem when it comes to writing the film. I will literally leave a pin card right here. Y'all can click the video if you want to go watch it. I will literally leave a pin card of me saying this dude tends to fan, tends to freaking put fan service over telling a good story and keeping the canon intact. He doesn't care. The, he, I would play the clip, but I'm I already got a strike from Team Wolf News because you know he he's kind of soft. I'm not gonna lie, but. I got a strike from the dude, so I don't want to use his footage again. So that's why I'm just talking. Um, you see my face talking in this video. Because, yeah, my strike literally comes off in, what, like a week and a half, two weeks. I'm not trying to get another one and spend another three months with another strike. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm like, bro, why would... And, and the crazy thing is, right, he says this right before Comic-Con, bro. The Teen Wolf, the movie panel, is next Thursday. Next Thursday, bro. And you put this out right before Comic-Con, bro. What? You see, this this is, this is makes... This makes my job extremely hard. Because I try to make sense... I've been trying to make sense of the Teen Wolf canon, right? For the last, God knows, what what is it, next month will be five years since I started the channel. Five years, I've dedicated all my time, pretty much sacrificed a crap ton of potentially epic moments I could have had with my friends, my family, to dedicate myself to Teen Wolf and putting out the most accurate information that I can possibly put out so that nobody is confused and people know what the hell they're talking about when it comes to proper Teen Wolf information. Jeff makes our jobs literally 10 times harder by saying, yeah, so fuck the canon. I'm just so any so basically anything with werewolves that I explained, you know, that's been on screen and we've known about for like six seasons of the show. I can just throw that out the window now because that doesn't matter. I'm going to change how werewolves work as long as it fits my narrative and the story I want to tell. Um, So remember where coyotes? Yeah, I can just change them to like where cheetahs or something now because, you know, Fuck cannon, right? Malia was never a were coyote. The desert wolf was a were cheetah. Why does that matter? And I guarantee, and somebody said this in my Discord chat, I guarantee freaking to you, this is how they're going to explain Allison being back. They're going to freaking retcon her death. The worst possible thing they could have ever done with this film they're gonna probably knowing and this is what i freaking said in that video he's probably going to retcon her death he's gonna and what what and what i mean by retcon her death is have it to where she was always there she was there in season five four and six and she never died and the funniest thing about this is you have teen wolf news's army of simps and literal like i don't even know like sheep who just blindly support the dude literally backing this up in his comments of the of his latest video talking about some oh my god yeah who cares about canon go this movie's gonna be lit fuck the canon what a, i'm like bro what do you mean 
fuck the cannon. Are you dumb? Like, the cannon is literally the reason why we have all the lore and why all the rules in Teen Wolf are the way they are. It's because they they followed the same canon pretty much for the majority of the series. Once you start saying fuck canon, you have shit like Dragon Ball Super where they start retconning shit that was clearly set up properly in the original DBZ series, but were retconned because the creator was like, oh, I forgot about this. I forgot about that. So yeah, I don't care what was mentioned like 30 years ago. I'm just going to change it even though the fans might dislike it. Like this is the problem with when you have creators who don't give a shit about their franchise and i've told y'all jeff is kind of sus when it comes to teen wolf like i don't really think he has his heart and soul in teen wolf i don't really think he cares about teen wolf as much as we all do i'm pretty sure he's only doing this movie as an obligation let's be real because if he really cared about making this movie as good as it possibly could be he wouldn't literally admit and say a dumbass statement such as, yeah, screw the canon. I just wanted to tell the story I wanted to tell regardless of if it makes sense or not. Like, what? Hey, I guess we'll just have to wait and see how it turns out, but this is a bad look. Um, I'm still going to do the stream for Comic-Con, of course, because I'm excited for the movie nonetheless. It's Teen Wolf, uh, my favorite you know, TV show of all time. Going to be excited for it, but damn, this is a bad look, bro. This was not good for either one of them. Um, yeah, Jeff Davis looks really bad after saying that. So does uh, Teen Wolf News. Both of their credibility is shot out the window. I don't want to hear nobody come in my comment section talking about some watch some Teen Wolf News video. I'm not watching another one, bro. Stop. Y'all lucky. I, the only reason I even watched this one because, was because y'all were telling me Jeff Davis was in it. So I was like, all right, maybe he has some stuff about the film. Other than that, don't recommend his videos, bro. The nigga has no credibility, bro. None. Watch his top 10 strongest Teen Wolf characters list. The dude does not know what he's talking about at all. And Jeff, I'm disappointed in you, man. He probably not going to see this video. He might probably might have some person who's like Paramount or MTV watching the video. I don't even know. But if you're watching this, kind of disappointed in you, bro. That's a bit lame and that's a bit cheap. And I don't appreciate you sacrificing the canon of the series you set up for what was it? How long was the run? Six and a half years, give or take, or six years and a couple of months. For that long, just for you to now, like five years after Teen Wolf season six ended, be like, yeah, so Canada doesn't matter anymore. Anything can pretty much happen regardless of if it makes sense or not. Like, that's a bad look. I don't like that. So those are just my thoughts and opinions. If you guys, you guys can agree or disagree, I don't really care. Just wanted to share my opinions on this. Um... Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below your thoughts and uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, turn on post notifications so that you never see a future upload from me. Join the Discord. Discord link will be in the description down below in the channel and in, uh, in the channel description. Or both of those are the same thing, but it'll be in the comments in the channel description. And uh, yeah, go watch my latest videos on True Alpha. Just posted three new updates because uh, yeah, Chapter One drops in September via Patreon. News will drop on that soon. I promise. And uh, I'm Jade. Make sure you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace, love, and positivity as always. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.